the only entry technique you need if you are still trying to master how to trade ICT perfectly because when you trade optimum trade entry everything becomes clearer and easier for you now OTE is an entry model a very very standard entry model that you apply when you've gotten your draw on liquidity for the day so if you're struggling to understand draw on liquidity go watch this video or if you're struggling to understand how to get your draw liquidity or daily bias go watch this video but if that is not what you want you want to know how to enter correctly when you've gotten your draw then this is the best video for you so optimum trade entry is just fib these are special fib levels okay and these special fib levels we have the 0 0.62 the 0 0.79 now these levels are very special levels in the fib and we call it i still call it the optimum trade entry not because it's magical but because the market likes to retrace that deep and if you can go and seek for some confirmations around there you can really get into a good trade now the major time frame where you do this is the 15 minutes time frame i'm going to walk you through different examples and how you should always work with it so the first example i'm going to show you is with gold so i'm going to run a very quick you know example and i'm going to make sure i also derive my daily bias here so that you can know why i am using um the fib the way i'm going to use it so now this is our weekly time frame and what's the market doing on our weekly time frame price has been bullish all along price retracing to a weekly fair valley gap and price now is on its way to this place so automatically we have tagged this um, um time frame to be bullish because we are what headed towards here we don't care how the weekly count is going to form all we care about is where is the week headed to and the week is heading to this point that until we get to this point we will keep looking for bulls on this weekly time frame so what is the daily time frame doing let's go to the daily time frame this is your daily time frame and this is where price is reacting from the FVG and it also serves as a sales and liquidity sweep here and as you can see price has sprung up and created a new high here i'm going to call that my daily high because and i actually use red to actually mark it because this is the first high that was created after price mitigated here and as you can see price literally retraced back down to another fair value gap okay so it means we are expecting price to pull up from here to create a new high higher than this so our bias from the daily is also bullish so on the four hours what's our bias now on our four hours we just you know traded into this fair value gap also that is in this daily level so when we did that now judging from the previous four hour structures the four hour structure was bearish look at it here we broke this low and we have been you know trending lower and as we entered here that's when we formed you know a low a four hour low here so this means we have to now counter trade okay because we are bearish the weekly is bullish the daily is bullish but we are bearish on the four hours but then in this scenario we will have to counter trade from this point to any significant four hour poi that is verified that's the idea so it's still bulls are going to look for and what gives us that mind to literally want to counter trade is when we see a 15 minutes chalk around after this um daily level has been mitigated so if you go to the 15 minutes this is what you're going to see so please pay attention this position right now is not the main example it's what happened in london analogies as an example so now if you take a good look at it a 15 minutes chalk had to happen before we took anything seriously and that's the 15 minutes change of character price has been on a downtrend since and as you can see as price has been on the downtrend since what happened is flipped bullish here and as it flipped bullish here at this point here so what how can we use the optimum trade entry because when you get your bias to be bullish based on all these time frames the weekly they live the four hours what you want to do on the 15 is wait for the market to shift bullish at any point in time it doesn't have to be from a poi it could be even if price has left that poi long ago and we are moving to a next level on the higher time frames all you want to keep applying is this 
OTE on a 15 minutes chart. So now this is our 15 minutes chart. So what you do is you draw your OTE, your FIB, sorry, from this low to this high. And when you draw it there, you'd find out that, sorry, let me take this if it's off. Okay, so you find out that around the 0 0.62 level, which is most important, or just take it like this, anything below the 0 0.5 level is you have to take it seriously. So you have to look for point of interest that is below 0 0.5 level. So we have this to be an other block here, the last smallest candle before the break of structure. So that's you want to mark it and work with it as long as it's below 0 0.5. Any POI you see above 0 0.5, please let it be. Well, the chances of it failing is very high so this is the other block right now you mark the other block what do you do you go to the five minutes and make sure it is refined so that zone you're marked on on the 15 you want to make sure on the on the five minutes is actually a very powerful zone too you find that there's an other block here too if you go to the three minutes you actually see it's an other block too you actually see it's an other block too which of, I can refine to this okay also find it's an other block too so now what you want to do is you want to go to the one minute time frame that's where you're going to get your entry but you must make sure before you take a trade it must be based on this time session that you can see on my screen right now for London session traders come to the chat by 2 a.m. Eastern time and stay till um, 5 a.m. Eastern time the reason is because you want to only be executing in this time window if you're a london trader if you're a new york trader you're coming um 7 a.m eastern time and stay till um 11 a.m eastern time anything outside this time as a new york trader don't execute okay so everything will be forming and you're just chill but make sure anytime you're pressing these entries you are already you know trading at your at this time interval as i spoke of. so anywhere you are in the world if you're in nigeria if you're in Ghana, anywhere, convert that Eastern time to your local time and then use that time to work. I use Eastern time so that it can be very stable and universal since that's a New York time. So, as you can see, on the one minute, all you want to do is wait for a change of character, a proper change of character. Now, when I mean a proper change of character, so the one minute has been very short, so I made this low, I made this high. Then we made this low. So, it was at this point. That price took at the high that led to this low. I don't need to start trying to trade small, small things here. This major high that led to this low inside this box has to be taken out before you can start buying. And once it's taken out, all you want to do, you want to wait till it closes. Okay? Once it's taken out, let the candle close. You don't need any retracement. As the candle closes, take your trade there. And where are you going to aim? Now, it depends on the setup. Okay? So in a setup like this, where we are counter trading the four hours, when it comes to setting your TP, you're setting your TP based on the four hours. So when in, in cases like this, when you know that okay, you are trying to counter trade the words four hours, then you know you're not supposed to aim too far, because and if price gets to the four, a four hour PY reversals can start. You never can tell. We have this fair value gap here. You know if price gets into here on four hours, reversals may happen and damage. All the bullish you know momentum we have been building so that's why you want to take your tp quickly in counter trade ideas like this and that's why you see me exit at this asian high here because it's just like a very clear you know closest clear place to exit from so that's a clear example and now if you trade new york okay all you have to do is as, as long as that bias you have has not changed okay as long as because for me the only thing that would make me change my bias is if price retrace into a four hour level and start reacting from it okay now when we mean a four hour level a four hour average is not enough reason as why you should be skeptical if the four hour level can be verified if those if that pdra or poi can be verified then you know that okay that's a very high value area so that's this this will call okay one hour time frame okay as you can see on the 15 minutes time frame there is nothing really supporting it at this level it did not get into any fair value gap so it's not verified this this four hour place to me i don't call it verified until all the time frames align if 
it doesn't align then it's not verified so at this point that is actually where you can still you know draw your fib for new york session which is this pink area you draw your fib from here right to here and this is 0 0.79 level as long as it's under 0 0.5 that's fine you just have to choose a pdra you find out that we have other block here we have fbg here all these places are important as price dumps the side you find your one hour your one minute um change of character to literally um get into the trade so let's look at second example on usd card all right so this is the daily time frame on usd card and what happened is price just took out an old daily low okay which we know as erl external range liquidity price just took it out and now it's not like price just took it out since price took it out today so what it means is it is extremely risky to continue the four hour trend which is uh, bullish you know the four hour trend is bullish and a lot of people will try to start buying from this fair value gap okay and think that okay price needs to jump from there blah 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 no once a major level like this has been taken out of account erl treat it like you know a very important area don't try to buy you're trying to work against the tide it will run this place and there's a big reaction don't try to buy the only time that it's safe to buy is when we have crossed this line okay i think it's safe to buy but if you have not crossed this line don't buy and also if you're trying to look for sales it's fine but you have to be careful because inside this fvg drawn here this is the most powerful part of the fvg why because it's verified it's, it's it has been you know um refined from four hours to one hour to 15 to five minutes so it's shooting every small time frame and it's happened that all the time frame had that you know it's actually aligned at this place all the small time frame aligned at this place so even if you want to sell you want to get this box you want to stop and see the reaction of the market if the market is still sliding lower 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 then you know okay it's still going to keep selling but if the market is sliding and start rejecting you know that okay this place is capable of pushing price up but don't involve in the buys wait until here has been taken out you can involve with the buys so that's why my bias for usd card was you know lower so all you want to do you know that your bias is lower lower all you want to do is to come to your session and execute now i executed at new york session so in new york session on my 15 minutes time frame what trend is it bearish high low new high we have broken below that old high we have retraced up seeds we have come down can you see now we are at this level if you draw your feet correctly between this high and this low what happens is that you now have price and you have um fvg sitting above the 0 0.5 level so that's 0 0.5 level that's 0 0.5 level we want to check the pdra around there the PR around there and then you want to go to the one minute time frame and very and look for your change of character so that's a fair value gap here it gets is above my 0 0.5 feed level perfect so all you want to do is you want to go to the five minutes and also verify if that fvg is perfect on 15 minutes time frame on five minutes rather you see that it's actually still an fvg here and it was mitigated nicely if you check the three minutes you find out the same exact thing okay that's all i want to see okay okay one minute actually swept liquidity here and then all i want to see is now i didn't enter with ote okay this trade is my live trade i took today okay guys that's it. This is my live trade I took today. This is USD card. Look at this. Sell USD card. 14.5 pips. That's my live trade I took. I the trade. I called it live. This is the profit I made from it. This is my VIP money room. This is where people, I trade live with my students. I call my trades and everything. We learn. I, I post my markups and everything that, that is going to make, you know, a, a trade that become profitable in a really short time goes on on the VIP group. Okay. A, a group whereby you're not just being taught the strategy you're being coached you're being assessed your progress i know your progress i'm i'm the one to tell you when to fund the live account when not to fund the live account i'm the one that is going to you know monitor you to try your journey and then i trade live with you i call all my trades for you as long as i'm profitable you become profitable at the same time at the same time i'm doing my withdrawal you do your withdrawal too 
there's nothing like the vip room if you want to join that vip room right now i just showed you guys go to my telegram um, go to youtube description of the video check the description the first link is my dm send me a message forex and i'm going to you know tell you all that is needed to join the mentorship and the signals or the vip room anyone you like but i'll recommend you know the mentorship because the signals is what lazy people do and at the end of the day you don't know how to trade you're just copying trades right so i use a different entry model for this but if it's gone if you're going to be using ote with this this is where you get your confirmation from your one your one minute confirmation you're going to get it here and here we go and that's where your chalk is and like i told you after it breaks as it closes you want to get your entry there you want to put your stop loss there you see you're going to be getting a better stop loss a better rr than the model i actually traded that this is going to give 5.4 r when this is given you know uh less so guys 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 listen this is is a very expensive way of trading okay do go do your study go do your find outs do every single study needed for you to become profitable and master this and once you master it, you're set. So always remember your draw with this paramount. If your draw is not correct, this will not work for you. But if your draw is correct, it will always work for you. Okay, always. So do well to do your you know study and everything, and you can adopt the OTE if you like it. So I'll see you guys in the next video. You know, you know what to do. Like, subscribe. Let's grow this community. This is the most simplest strategy you see on this channel. But there are more strategies that show you how to <clears throat> determine the daily bias how to determine your direction all these videos right here will help you understand market direction properly and even market structure so go watch them i'll see you in the next video peace